Megan? It's you, right? I understand. I mean, you just lost a daughter. My God, I'm so sorry. You know, I wanted to come to the funeral and tell you just... Stop it! It won't help. It's not going to bring her back. Maisie wouldn't want it this way, you know that. Look, look, you can just turn around. And walk out that door, and I swear, I swear I won't tell anybody anything. What do you want? I can't change what happened. I tried, I tried. That's why I was in the car with her. I was trying to get the keys from her, but she just wouldn't slow down. I begged her to, I begged her, but she was too upset. I should have gone up there. I shouldn't have gone up there in the first place and taken those stupid divorce papers. <laughs> You're not Sally, are you? Stephanie? Stephanie, you're not gonna scare me away from Thorne. I love him. Why can't you just believe me? You're so convinced that this is something ugly when it's not, it's real. On, you go ahead and you just push your son away from you because that's exactly what you're doing. I'm so sorry about what happened to Maisie. She didn't deserve this. But we tried to help her. We did everything we could, especially Thorne. But he shouldn't have married her. And he wouldn't have if it wasn't for Ridge and Eric and that dirty trick that they played on us. But then they didn't tell you about that, did they? No. No, because it was easier to blame me. Well, I didn't kill her. All I did was fall in love. Liar! chase him, I stayed away. Because he wanted to make it work with Macy, and he tried. But there wasn't anything there. Liar! They tried to hide it from you, don't you see? Ask Ridge, ask Eric, ask Thorne even. He didn't love her. He risked his life for her. Kimberly. loved her. He would have died for her. Thorne and Macy were very close. They'd been through a lot together. 
And they would have made it too, Brooke. If you hadn't killed my sister! How? You couldn't stand it, could you? The two of them alone together in the cabin. Because you knew what would happen. You knew that without you around, that, that they would be fine, Brooke, that they would remember. Kimberly, that's not how it happened. No. No, of course not, Brooke, because you went up there. You hounded my sister. Oh, I shouldn't have gone up there. I didn't mean for anything to happen like that. Why did you hate her, Brooke? She never did anything to you. I didn't hate her. She was just in the way, right? Well, not anymore. Because she's gone, Brooke. She's dead. Kimberly. No, don't you touch me! Don't touch me, Brooke! You did it! You killed my sister! Why do you keep saying that? I didn't kill her. I wanted her to get better. Well, she wouldn't have been sick if it wasn't for you! Kimberly, Macy was an alcoholic. She was sober. She was sober, Brooke, for six years. She was happy. Until you. You took everything she had. You, you took her happiness. You took her marriage. And then you humiliated her by bringing her those divorce papers. No matter what she did, no matter where she went, she could never get away from you. I never should have gone up there, but I can't change what happened, Kimberly. And I didn't cause it. Macy was the one who was driving. Trying to get away from you. No, she was trying to kill me. What did you say? You said she was trying to kill you, Brooke. That's what you said. It, I can't be sure. You can't be sure? She said that I would never have Thorn and that and she just kept driving faster. Wait, she was me. angry! Yes, yes, that's probably all it was. Oh, you, you uh, took her life and now you, you take her, her? How could you say that? I should have said no, anything. you are not going to do it to her, Brooke. You are not going to do it. Calm down, no, Kimberly. No, talk about my sister like that. Like, oh, God. No. Kimberly, Brooke, what the hell is going on here? Kimberly! Let me get you a doctor. No, no, I'm okay. Just take care of Kimberly. Kimberly, I need to know what happened here. My only remaining relative gone because of her. No, no, honey, that is not true. She's gonna pay for what she did to my sister. I can promise you that. God, you need help. I'm gonna make sure you get some counseling. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. Yeah. Really, it's just that Kimberly. Oh, 
gone. She's gone. <sighs> Listen, I'm more worried about you. No, I'm fine. Honey, your hands are shaking. Lord, she was so out of control. I really didn't know what she was going to do. You gotta find her and you gotta talk to her. Listen, I want you to get out of town. And we will. We will just as soon as you find Kimberly. No, no, I am not leaving. You are. I thought we were going to leave town together. I did too, honey. But something has to be done about Kimberly. I mean, my God, she could have killed you. Honey, this town is way too hot. From Sally, Clark, CJ, and now Kimberly. Everyone is out to nail you, not to mention my family. Look, I'm gonna walk you down to your car, and I want you to get to the airport, okay? I will handle Bridget, and I'll take care of Kimberly. I want you to call me as soon as you get to San Francisco. Okay. Just be careful. <sighs>